Work points are another really useful feature you can create in Inventor. You can create a work point to serve as reference geometry in your part, and it will be parametrically linked to your selections. Unlike the plane and axis tools, there are actually two types of points you can create, work points and grounded work points. We'll go over work points in this lesson, as well as all of the types from the drop-down, and in the next lesson, we will cover grounded work points. A work point is a point that is parametrically linked to your selections, meaning that if you create a point at the intersection of two lines or edges, and the edges move, the point will move along with the edges and update accordingly. Just like planes and axes, you can use the default point tool to create any of the point types listed in the drop-down, except for grounded points. Just activate the tool, select your references, and Inventor creates the work point based on your selections. Let's go through all the individual types. Again, they are all very straightforward. The first type of point you can create is on vertex sketch point or midpoint. With the tool active, simply click on any corner, vertex, sketch point, or midpoint. And Inventor creates a work point there that you can quickly select as a reference. You can select three intersecting planes or faces, and a point will be created where they all intersect. Or you can also select two lines and create a work point at their intersection as well. You can also select a plane, face, or surface, along with a line or edge, and create a point where they'd intersect. The last two types of points you can create are center points. You can create a point at the center of a loop just by selecting a face. Or, if you have a torus, you can create a work point at the center by simply selecting the torus.